life, right? Can't have it all. <laughs> you have a lot of it. You have a lot of it. Tell us a little bit about purpose at work. So you found unbelievable purpose in tennis. Yeah, I was very fortunate that I've gotten a chance to play a sport. And the reality is, life is sport and sport is life. And I think that's why people connect so much to sport and want to be a part of it, whether they're playing or watching, because in those moments you have triumph, you have disaster, all the things that life is really about. And I've had that opportunity to connect in sports and understand what it means in life to have a purpose and oftentimes how to create one as well. And talk to me about that. How has that carried over into life outside of tennis? Talk to me. Yeah, absolutely, every single way. And so parents, get your kids in a sport, all of your parents out there, and also push yourself. And the best way to push yourself is to push yourself physically. When you push yourself physically, what you're really pushing is your mind. Yeah. And your mind is telling you whether or not you can handle it or not. We don't, we don't want anyone to get hurt, none of that. No weekend warrior stuff, none of that. We want you to be one piece of the conferences, but when you push yourself physically, then you start to have that mental battle. And when you have that battle, then you start to find what you're really made out of. And then you can decide to quit or keep going. And what's interesting is it takes the same amount of time. So the time that you spent quitting, you can actually continue to go. It's still the time. So it's what, what are you going to choose? I do. Um, let's talk a little.